What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Alrighty, so... We did a little off-screen training, as you can probably tell. Godzilla's at level 10, and that's mainly because we got a little battle to go to, and I tried it out at level 7. And it didn't work out very well, guys. Trust me, it didn't work out. So, we're gonna be moving on right here, and uh, getting this whole thing started, uh, you know, the whole adventure and all that stuff, you know? Uh, the whole going into the Viridian Forest and all that stuff, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun right here. And, uh, well, along the way we're gonna be battling some Pokémon right here. And, uh, now we got Pokéballs, so we can actually capture whatever Pokémon we want, and, uh, well, Pidgey, I'm just gonna make you faint because you're not really the Pokémon I want for my team. Now, we are playing Pokémon Leaf Green. As you can see, I, there's no sidebars or anything like that. This is going to be a quick and easy game for us. It's going to be uh, narrated, edited like that. And uh, hopefully, you know, when we battle a few gym leaders here and there, it's going to be easy for us to, you know, give you details of uh, what they have and how you can defeat them. So, um, as you can see right here, we're, we're taking on another Pidgey right here. So, I'm just going to run away. I really don't want to battle this Pokemon right now. And then... Uh, the editing on the whole wild Pokemon battle, that, eh, I've noticed that, you know, we will eventually get Repel, so that won't be necessary right there. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to actually go straight to Route 22, and we're actually going to battle Gary. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can actually find in Route one, uh, Route 22 in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. Two of them happen to be Rattata and Spiro. The other one happens to be Mankey, a very useful Pokemon for the very first gym battle. And, uh, well, still not going to capture him. I'm not even going to waste my time with this guy, but it, it, it should be smart of me to actually get myself another Pokemon. But I'm actually going to gamble it right here. So let's go ahead and battle Gary. Bring it on. Hey, Draven! You're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you in through, or won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Yes, sir, they did. Or he did. Yeah. I... Whatever. So here we go, our second battle against rival Gary, and he's gonna be coming out with his new Pidgey. And uh, one thing you should worry about this guy is that he likes to, he likes to use Sand Attack a lot. So we're gonna try and beat this guy pretty quickly before he starts lowering our uh, our accuracy. Because trust me, at this point right now, lowering your accuracy. It could prove vital, and uh, he's only attacking me, so let's go ahead and just destroy him with the Ember Attack. So there we go. One down, one more to go. And of course, he has his final Pokemon, Squirtle, right here. Level 9, and I'm going to go with the Scratch Attack because that's the only move that can actually work. And this guy attacking me with his full force. Not enough. He's very defensive. And, uh, yeah, good thing I have myself a potion right here. So I'm not going to risk it right now. I'm going to heal this guy up right now. And, uh, go ahead. Tackle me all you want. And that was a critical hit, so we need to avoid that. So let's go again. Scratch attack. That was a critical hit. Hell yeah, one more. And uh, here we go. Scratch attack for the win. How about that? Godzilla wins. Fatality. Look at that, level 11. So now I gotta, yeah, I have to limit the, uh, I have to limit the, the growing up now. So this is where we can actually capture Pokemon right here. Now this guy right here is gonna be like, I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit do uh, dawdling and get a move on. Yeah, this guy is uh, very good with his words. Very, very good with his words. Uh, let's see. Eh, we could still, we could still do it. So, what I'm gonna try and do right here is I'm actually gonna try and capture maybe a Spiro. Yeah, try and capture a Spiro. Oh, would you look at that, Mankey. Hmm. Okay, so I'm convinced. I'm gonna go with the Scratch Attack. I'm gonna try and capture this Pokemon right here. And uh, yeah, I didn't want that to happen. Oh damn. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try and capture a a Pokemon right here and. Uh, well, there's a Mankey right there. Okay, so hopefully this guy survives. Alright, let's go. Scratch attack for the win. There we go. He survived, so... I'm gonna try and capture this guy first. Now, a lot of these Pokemon that I capture will not be on my team. They're just gonna be used for, you know, HM Slavery or, you know, battling the gym leader here and there. And, uh, this guy... Oh, God. 
Okay, we gotta we gotta throw one more Pokeball at him. For sure he's gonna stay, because I can't hit him one more time. Let's go, stay in that ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Fuck yeah. There you go, guys. I'm doing the peace sign right now, if you guys don't notice. So there we go. Mankey has been captured and uh, extremely quick to anger. It would be docile one moment, then thrashing away at the next instant. Oh, God. And, uh, well, since we already had one in Pokemon Yellow, I might as well call him the same name. Project Pickhammer. Rest in peace. Static X. That's right. Alrighty. Pickhammer. Alrighty, so there we go. We got our pig hammer. Of course, he's not going to stay with us very long. So, I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to try and capture... Uh, I'm going to try and capture a uh, flying type Pokemon. That way we can get through the Viridian Forest quickly. So, I'll be right back in just a bit, guys. Alrighty, guys. So, off screen, I did capture most of the Pokemon around the area. You know, I captured a Pidgey. Named him Hurricane. Captured a Rattata. Didn't really nickname him, but the Pokemon that I really wanted to capture was a Spearow right here. So everybody, say hello to Tornado. Yes, I called him Tornado. Uh, I'm more inclined to a Pidgey because it's more majestic, but, you know, Spearow makes it so much easier to pick because it does have a move that we need to get past the Viridian Force, and that is Peck. So, of course, Tornado will be on our team for the remainder of, you know, for the foreseeable future, especially with Pig Hammer right here. So that's three Pokemon that we got. We already stocked up, and uh, now it's time to move on right here. Now, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be talking to this guy right here, and the uh, homeboy is gonna like. There's no way hiding around this guy. So let's go ahead and hear what he has to say. Well, now I've had my coffee, glug glug, and that's what I or and that's what I need get to get going. Hmm. What is that red box you have? Ah, you're working on your Pokédex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokémon, the Pokédex automatically updates. It's data. <laughs> you don't know how to catch Pokémon? Well, kind of caught five of them. <laughs> I suppose I had better show you then. No, oh, damn. So he's definitely going to show us how to capture this Pokémon right here. So as you can see, he's going to be going up against a Weedle, teaching us how to capture a Pokémon like we didn't even know. Uh, if you guys are playing the later versions like Pokemon Sword and Shield, you probably already know that you have the you actually have the, the choice to whether or not, you know, be taught how to capture Pokemon. Right here, uh, we have no choice. The struggle is real guys. It really is. So there he is. He caught himself a Weedle. Pretty cool. Good stuff. You know, it's always good. And uh, well let's see what else he has to say. There, now you tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. We got ourselves the TG TV. And uh, there's something that you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Let's see. The Teachy TV. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, not really going to go there. It's a television set that is tuned to program for useful or with useful tips for novice trainers, which we won't be getting into right there. Uh, I'm going to leave that to Pokey Adventures HD, which if you guys don't know, will eventually come out with a Pokemon Fire Red version. It's unnarrated, that kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, it's going to be coinciding with this walkthrough right here too. Anywho, moving on forward right here, Viridian City does have a gym, and it's home to the Viridian City gym, but doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have the name of the Pokemon trainer. Talk to this guy right here, he's like, this Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the letter, or the leader is. Well, we won't know, because he's not there. Or she. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. So let's move on right here to route number two. We've already captured all the Pokemon right here. All we need to do now is go into the Viridian Forest, which we do have the two Pokemon for. And, uh, well, I don't know why I have Pick Hammer. Oh, yeah, Pick Hammer for the, uh, the gym right here. So here we are talking to these people. Are you going to the Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful. You don't get lost. I won't. I trust that I won't get lost right here. So... Here we are, the Viridian Forest. What's up? What is up? And uh, there are quite a few items right here that you know we need to actually cat. Uh, we need, we need to actually get. Unfortunately, we don't have a repel, so we will be attacked by a few po Pokemon here and there. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's an item up there. Yeah. Of course, I'm looking at like a guidebook right here too. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a there is a Pokeball, and uh, we are being attacked by our very first Bug-type Pokemon right here. 
and uh, we got Weedle going up against us. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn it to death. That's right. We're still gaining experience points, guys. Trust me, it is. It is what it is right here. And uh, well, that's, a, that's a nice amount of points. Grabbing this thing right here, we got ourselves another Pokeball. I did purchase 10 Pokeballs just in case because there is a Pokemon in here that I do want to capture. And uh, that happens to be, well, one of them off screen. I will be capturing all the Pokemon off screen, guys. Uh, but right now, I'm going to be burning them to death. That's right. Oh, yeah. Feeling good about that. Alrighty. So, Godzilla, Godzilla. Looking like a boss right now. You guys already know who the next Pokemon is. If you guys have already watched my very first uh, walkthrough ever. I just won't say it to the newer people right there. So, let's see. I'm going to try and see if I can find it. And uh, that is not it. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can find in here. Caterpie, Weedle are one of them. Uh, Kakuna, Metapod, there are some of them. And Pikachu right here. But that is a very, very rare Pokemon that you can actually find right here. So, I came to visit, or I came here with some friends to catch some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some uh, Pokemon battles. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Anywho, guys, I'm going to stop right here. I will be uh, fast forwarding to when I need to capture that next Pokemon. So I'll be right back in just a little bit. 3.28 AM. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right here, we finally found our Pikachu. <laughs> oh my god. And after much, and I mean a lot of waiting, you guys saw the whole Spongebob thing. Yeah, it's finally time to capture this Pokemon, and as you can see, Tornado grew four levels while doing this. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was quite of an experience right there, and uh, crud. This Pikachu right here came to fight, as you can see, knocked the crap out of Tornado. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, switch it out to Godzilla. As you can see, Pig Hammer also fainted, but that was through uh, poisoning. Yeah, just my luck right there, so uh, crud. I better not make this Pokemon faint right here. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, this Pikachu looks very, very strong with his uh, with his Thundershock right there. So I'm gonna try and capture it right now and see if I can, uh, you know, add it to the collection right there because this is the next Pokemon on our team that I want. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. Bam. Look at that. So there you go, guys. The next Pokemon on our team is a uh, Pikachu, and uh, Pikachu, of course, is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. You know, it's the mascot Pokemon. As you can see, Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. When several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity can build and cause lightning storms. Oh, wow. That is pretty true. That is very, very true. Would you like to give a good nickname to this Pikachu? Yes, I do. Now, believe it or not, guys, off screen, I did encounter Pikachus. I did. It's not that I didn't, it, that I made them faint or anything like that. It's more the fact that I wanted to capture a female Pikachu. We'll just assume that our Pokemon Yellow Pikachu is male because, of course, it's, it's going off the anime. So right here, I wanted to capture a female P a Pikachu for one reason, one reason only. If you guys have seen me on Instagram or anything, you guys already know that I do have a niece. And I kind of wanted to do this in honor of her because, you know what, I love that girl very, very much. And she loves Pikachu. She knows how to draw them. I think I've saw, I think I've uh, uh, shown a few uh, pictures of her drawings of Pikachu and all that stuff. So this is for you, baby. I'm gonna nickname this Pikachu Aaliyah after my niece because you know I love her very, very much. <laughs> Actually, that's not how you spell Aaliyah. Hold on. So uh, wait, how do you spell it? Hold on, just a sec. <laughs> oh damn, her mom's gonna get pissed at me. <laughs> oh god. Hold on just a sec, guys. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, her mom's going to be pissed at me. Okay, so, again, this one's for you, baby. You got your own Pikachu on my team. And uh, don't worry, guys. I will be uh, featuring this Pikachu and my Sparky from Pokemon Yellow in future walkthroughs such as Pokemon X... Uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, maybe? You know, that kind of stuff. And uh, everything else in between. So there you go. This one's for you, baby. Aaliyah the Pikachu. Alrighty, guys. So I'm back. I'm back, baby. And uh, my Pokemon are nice and healed right here, as you can see. I didn't really want to use up any of my potions, especially in here. Um, uh, let's see. Godzilla, Pig Hammer, and Aaliyah right here. Now, I'm starting to think that I really don't need Pig Hammer right now at this moment. But, you know, it never hurts to have a fourth just in case 
But let's check out our new Pokemon right here, Aaliyah the Pikachu. Mild Nature, Meta Viridium Force at level 5. That's a proper level right there. And it does have good attack and special attack. Speed is a uh, strong point. As you can see, its ability is static. Yes, I know, guys. Many of you guys would prefer Jolteon over Pikachu, but hey, I can't pass up Pikachu, especially when my niece, she personally wants to be a part of my walkthroughs and stuff. So hopefully I can get her to do some narrations right here with me too. So <laughs> we'll see about that. Now let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves another potion, which is always good. And uh, yeah, don't want to battle that guy just yet. But there's a Caterpie. Let's go Tornado. We're going to run away because yeah, it's, yeah, we don't really want to battle it. Let's see. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you should never, or that's why you never have too many Pokeballs. That is true. Very, very true. That's why I always carry 10, just in case. So here we go, our very first battle against a Bug-type trainer. And he's like, hey, you have Pokemon. Come on. Let's battle him. Alrighty. So I like, uh, I see that you like uh, Danger and all that stuff. So here we go. Bugcatcher Rick wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Weedle now. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to go off screen and heal my Pokemon, because Weedle, they do have Poison Sting, and they will poison you. Need to bring some antidotes right here, guys. And so, one hit KO right there, Tornado's kicking some butt, and they're coming out with Caterpie, so let's go with Leah the Pikachu right here. Alright, baby, let's see what we can do. Coming out with a Caterpie. Okay, so this should be an easy battle for Leah. And there we go. That's right. Thundershock for the win, right? No, just a critical hit. But one of the things that you guys should worry about with these worm Pokemon is their uh, string shot because they will lower your speed. And uh, this guy going with the tackle attack. Come on, you can't just do that. So there we go. Thundershock for the win. That's right. First victory for my little Leah. And uh, <laughs> look at that. No, Caterpie can't have it! No, it's a Caterpie, you can't. You can't hack it at all. So, let's go right ahead and move on right here. We're gonna, it's it's gonna be easy breezy, lemon squeezy around here, and uh, this guy will want to battle us. So, let's go right ahead and switch it off to Godzilla Godzilla right here. So let's, uh, let's see what he has. Yo, you can't jam it out if you're a Pokemon trainer? I didn't, I don't even know what that meant. But, okay, whatever you say, let's just battle. So here we go, Bugcatcher Doug would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Weedle, so I'm coming out with Godzilla Godzilla right here, so let's go with that Ember attack, oh yeah, and uh, Weedle defeated, <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah, and uh, well, he's going to come out with his Weedle again, so I'm going to be switching it up right here, and I'm, I'm going to try and get a Tornado up to level 10 as well. Not that I'm going to need it over at the Pewter City Gym, but, you know, spread the love. You have multiple Pokemon. Let's battle them all. There we go. Peck attack. For the win. Nope. And, uh, oh, crap. There's that string shot that we don't want. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. And, uh, yeah. It, it, like, at this point right now, it only takes one string shot just to lower, like, just to have us below these guys right here. I don't know how a worm Pokemon are you know, faster than us. I don't, I really don't know. But there you go, another win. And it's coming out with a Kakuna. So you know what? I'm actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it out with Big Hammer. I know, I know. But I kind of want to get it experienced because we will be going into the Pewter City Gym at some point, possibly in the next episode. So we're going to be just scratching away. Scratch, scratch, scratch. All right, Big Hammer, let's do this. Scratch attack. Nothing. Okay, so that's not really, that's not going to work at all. So let's go to Godzilla. He got his one hit in. Good for you. Let's go, Godzilla. And there's that hardened attack. Oh my god. You suck. Here we go. Ember attack. And that is for the win right there. Alrighty. And uh, that's good experience points. Pick Hammer grows to level 4. That's good. And uh, Doug, 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 Doug got beat. He got beat. Alrighty, so let's see. Trainer tips. Contact Professor Oak via a PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Yeah, he's very judgmental. I really don't want to do that. So let's grab this, and we got ourselves an antidote, which is always good. And uh, well, let's see. I think there's one more trainer around here. Oh, yeah, he's going to be waiting for our ass right here. So let's go ahead and battle. I might be a little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Oh, yeah, he's got some little man syndrome right now. Little man syndrome. 
bug catcher Anthony would like to battle, and uh, he will be coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right now. No, just Caterpie. You know, I've said this before, and I will say it again. They need—they needed to add a little bit more um, bug type Pokemon right here, especially for the remakes. But you know, I'm just one person. I haven't played Pokemon Go, uh, Pikachu, or Eevee yet, but you know it. It probably did change, maybe, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. I'm not very uh, <laughs> knowledgeable on that that kind of stuff. So here we, he comes out with a Caterpie, and so I will go with the Peck Attack. Pick a Pecker, that's right. And uh, of course, String Shot, because yeah, why not? Will that win? I don't know. He will not. So here we go. Another String Shot attack for us, because we're slower than this guy. Hopefully after this win, it will actually boost up its speed just a bit more. So there we go. Pack attack for the win. There we go. That's how you do it. And uh, Tornado grows to level 8, which is always good. And, uh, well, but can't your Anthony. Nothing went well. It really didn't go well. Not at all. All right, so let's move on right here. I think, let's see. I think we got something else going on right here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by a Pokemon, right? No, nothing. And in Pokemon Yellow, you would normally find a Pokemon trainer right here. And, uh, well, we're just going to be moving on right here. And uh, there is one more trainer waiting for us. So we're going to be switching it up. Let's go with Leah. I'm pretty sure she wants to battle just a little bit more. Did you know the Pokemon evolve? Uh, yeah, that's why Metapod are right there. I think I've already evolved a Pokemon. Not really. <laughs> so here we go. Let's do this. Going up against a Metapod, this should be easy for me, I guess. I don't know. Let's go, Thundershock. And that takes a nice chunk, but this guy's going with the Harden. That's the only move it can do. Oh, God. Okay, so here we go. Thundershock yet again. Oh, damn. This Pokemon is not... Yeah, it... Yeah, this Pokemon will not go down without a fight. So here we go again with one more Thundershock. And it does the trick. Look at that. Alrighty. And uh, hello, level 6. Alrighty, Aaliyah. And, uh, well, look at that. Grows to level 6. Gains Tail Whip. Not much of a move. And, uh, well, I'm going to continue on right here with Aaliyah. And uh, let's see what, the, what happens. Let's go. Thundershock. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Of course, string shot. Oh, you gotta love those string shots, right, guys? You have to love them. So here we go, one more time with a string shot, or not, not a string shot, thunder shock. That's my own string shot right there, because that's the only thing I have. And, uh, well, nothing else. There's speed going down, and yeah, my speed has gone all the way down to the point where, like, yeah, and that Caterpie's a little bit faster than me. Oh, God. Here we go, thunder shock for the win. Oh yeah, that's right. How, how does it feel to fail? And look at that, grows to level 7 in the same battle, and uh, we got a Metapod on our hands, so let's go with Tornado to finish off the rest right here. Alrighty, just bring it, bring it on right here, and uh, Peck Attack for the win! Oh crud, it wasn't for the win at all. Oh that Hardened Attack, you gotta love that Hardened Attack, it really, it really is a good Hardened Attack. But it doesn't have that much defense. As you can see, super effective moves always win. And uh, Tornado nearly grows another level, but my Pokemon are doing fine. And he's like, oh, I lost. Yes, you did. You lost badly. Alrighty, so moving on forward, there's probably maybe one or two trainers left. No, there's one trainer. I mean, I played this game plenty of times, that you should probably already know. And uh, there's a Weedle that we don't want to battle don't want to battle Weedle because poison. Remember, poison. You don't want that. So, let's go right ahead and grab this little item right here. Here we go. Potion. Adding it to the collection right there. And uh, let's see what this says right here. Trainer tips. You can't catch a Pokemon that belongs to someone else. Throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon to catch them. Alright. Thanks for the information right there. Um, is there a hidden item right here? I'm pretty sure there was a hidden item somewhere. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. It's probably in the other versions. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, switch out because, yes, we already know that there's going to be a Weedle right there. So, let's go ahead and uh, battle the wild Pokemon. Yeah. Just wait until we have repels, guys. It's going to be so much easier when we're passing these Pokemon by. So, 
getting away from this guy and battling this guy. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Why the rush? Oh, well, I don't want to battle you. That's the rush. So here he goes. Bug catcher Sammy would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Weedle right here. I'm gonna be coming out with Tornado, the bird Pokemon right here. So here we go. Heck attack. And uh, nearly beats him. But again, string shot. You gotta love those string shots, guys. Not for the win, but you guys already know what I mean. So here we go, another peck attack, and wow. Beats me to the punch right there, and poisons my Pokemon right there. Ah, oh, crud. So that's exactly what I was afraid of, getting poisoned by a freaking Weedle. Just like my, uh, my big hammer. Oh god, you suck. So there we go, we got, in, got to level 9, that's good. But now we have to use an antidote, which is always a fun thing to do. So let's go ahead and use that that antidote. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Got four of them. And, uh, yep. Yep, Spiro's finally liking us just a little bit more. So that's that's always a good thing about your Pokemon. And, uh, well, there's another Pokemon that won't let us leave. Let me live! Come on! I gotta, I gotta get the heck out of here. I, I can't. I can't. Alrighty, so grabbing this, or we're reading this, leaving Viridian Forest to the Pewter City ahead. Okay, alrighty. So we're finally out of here. We don't need to talk to anybody right here. And uh, all we got to do now is go straight to Route 2 and Pewter City, which is uh, right now. As you can see, there's a sign and everything. And uh, this is exactly where we're going to stop. I know many of you guys are kind of worried that I might do like a tour uh kind of a tour episode that won't happen trust me guys in the next episode we will be going for our very first badge so thank you guys for watching i'll be back for another episode of pokemon leaf green see you guys <laughs>